Have you ever seen big honeybees buzzing around blooming flowers and wondered to yourself, why do bees make honey? Let's find out on today's episode of Colossal Questions. The process of making honey starts when adult worker bees fly out of their hive in search of flowers filled with nectar, the main ingredient they need to make honey. Depending on the time of year and the weather outside, worker bees may have to fly for miles before they find the right flowers. Once they finally find their target, the bees use their long, straw-like tongue, called a proboscis, to slurp the droplets of nectar out like a slushy. It's swallowed down and stored in a special extra stomach called a crop for safekeeping. As bees fly around slurping nectar from dozens, maybe hundreds of flowers in one hunt, the crop slowly starts to fill up. During the flight home, that belly full of nectar mixes with special proteins in the crop that help keep it from hardening and prep it to become honey. Once they finally make it back to the hive, the weary worker bees spit the nectar back up, right into the mouths of the younger, smaller bees who stay in the hive. The nectar is broken down even more inside the younger bees' bellies. Then, once it's ready, the goop is stored away in those hexagon-shaped honeycomb cells you might recognize. Bees then fan the fresh nectar with their wings, drying it out. Once the nectar's water content drops to somewhere between 14 and 18%, it'll finally look and taste like the thick golden goo we know as honey. Now that the honey's done, the bees put a lid over the hexagon made out of beeswax to keep it sealed. Kinda like a little jar of honey. Okay, so that's how bees make honey, and honestly, it's pretty cool. But it does beg the question, why? What's all that flying and collecting and sealing away of all that honey even for? Well, for much the same reason you might seal and store away some food for later. Think about it. In the winter months, most places around the world don't have nearly as many flowers in bloom. That means less nectar, which means less food for the bees. But with all that honey stored away for a rainy day, Bees can just crack open one of their little hexagon jars of honey they've saved. A single worker bee can only produce about one twelfth of a teaspoon of honey in a lifetime of collecting nectar from flowers. That's not much. <laughs> but luckily, there can be as many 60,000 bees in a single colony. All those bees working together can visit tens of millions of flowers in a day and churn out hundreds of pounds of honey in a single year. That's a lot of honey and a lot of effort. So if you see a bee buzzing around outside, just leave it be. It's probably hard at work. 